Today, we are going to check out the smallest robots that you can't see. Even though these robots are tiny, some of them have amazing functions, from surveillance and rescue to biomedicine. Buckle up and enjoy! Number 7. Black Hornet Teledyne, an American technology company, developed and marketed a covert danger awareness system for foot soldiers. The robot is practically silent and small enough to fit in an adult's palm. The Black Hornet system has a flip-out screen that can be accessed from a vest, as well as a separate pouch that houses two drones and a controller that looks like a joystick. The drone's maximum flight time is 25 minutes, and charging takes around the same amount of time. While each drone is only 33 grams in weight, the system weighs 1.3 kilos. There's also a variant that may be put on a vehicle. The tiny flying cameras can send relatively low quality 640x480 pixel video to troops up to 2 kilometers distant and are made to approach enemy positions without being heard or seen. Fighters will be able to defend metropolitan areas in safety thanks to these robots. Black Hornets are also equipped with basic thermal imaging to help them locate enemy positions at night. They can also take and send still images with a resolution of 1600x1200 pixels. The risk of operational intelligence slipping into enemy hands is eliminated in the most recent models because there's no digital storage in the aircraft. Black Hornets cost $200,000 per unit. Number 6. RoboBee RoboBee is a tiny robot with flapping wings that was inspired by the bee, one of the busiest and most productive insects ever. With the intention of having possible applications in crop pollination, search and rescue operations, surveillance, as well as high-resolution weather, climate, and environmental monitoring, this insect robot was developed and inspired by the biology of a bee. A tiny electrical tether serves as RoboBee's power source and control mechanism. RoboBee uses artificial muscles made of materials that contract when a voltage is applied to fly. It is roughly the size of a paperclip and weighs less than one-tenth of a gram. Some RoboBee models have additional modifications that enable them to fly and perch on surfaces using static electricity in addition to swimming underwater. The ambition to create autonomous micro-aerial vehicles capable of self-contained, self-directed flying and of establishing coordinated behavior in large groupings served as the inspiration for the RoboBee's creators. To that purpose, the body, brain and colony are the three primary parts of the RoboBee development. The colony's focus is on coordinating the behavior of numerous independent robots so they work as an effective unit. The body development involves building robotic insects that can fly on their own with the aid of a small and seamlessly integrated power source, while the brain development is concerned with smart sensors and control electronics that mimic the eyes and antenna of a bee and can sense and respond dynamically to the environment. Number 5. RoboFly Flying robots the size of insects could aid with time-consuming activities like smelling out gas leaks or monitoring crop development on huge farms. RoboFly is about the size of a real fly, slightly heavier than a toothpick, and powered by a laser beam that must be directed at its body. It makes use of a small onboard circuit to transform the laser energy into an amount of electricity sufficient to power its wings. While the current version of RoboFly is powered by a laser beam, future iterations might employ tiny batteries or gather power from radio frequency signals so that they might be customized for different purposes. Insect-sized robots could be used for a variety of beneficial tasks, such as assisting in search and rescue operations, streamlining infrastructure inspection, and accelerating agricultural processes. In the future, RoboFly might be useful for a variety of tasks, such as supporting volunteers in search and rescue operations, or assisting human users in the detection of gas leaks. It might also be used in great numbers to comb the water's surface for impurities or leakage of potentially dangerous substances. Number 4. Microscallops Researchers at the Max Planck Institute for Intelligent Systems in Stuttgart 
have created an artificial scallop that is just a tenth of a millimeter in size and can swim in fluids that are significant to biomedicine. They are prototypes made to move about the eye or inside the bloodstream. They are similar to Miller robots in that they are powered by an external magnetic field and are planned for use in future medical applications. A 3D printed mold is used to cast silicone rubber to create the body of a microscalp. Each of its two shells is 800 microns broad and 300 microns thick. Each shell has a little magnet attached to it. The microscalp can open and close in response to an external magnetic field. The robot is just approximately 350 millionths of a gram in weight overall. According to the researchers, it is possible to hundreds or thousands of times reduce the size of the microscalp to produce swimming nanorobots that can move throughout the body. With this, many new intriguing micro-robots and swimmers will be constructed for biological media. Number 3. Robeetle A tiny, autonomous robot beetle that can travel using burning methanol was created by Nestor Operez Arancibia. The Guinness Book of World Records named Robeetle the smallest crawling robot in the world in 2021. However, another micro-robot has since surpassed it. Robeetles only have an average weight of 88 milligrams, which is equivalent to 3 grains of rice. Many different kinds of genuine beetles are not heavier than this robot. The Robeetle's artificial muscles are propelled forward by the burning of methanol, a form of alcohol typically found in solvents in antifreeze. Despite having a seemingly small range of applications, Robeetle possesses a wide range of talents. For instance, Robeetle can carry 2.6 times its own weight and, by attaching a wireless RFID chip to it, may function as a miniature gate opener. The additional 95 milligrams of fuel that this tiny robot can carry will allow for it to run for up to two hours. Additionally, it has the ability to ascend slopes and move through a variety of diverse surfaces, including glass, a foam sleeping pad, and a concrete sidewalk. Number 2. Kilobot the development of swarms of robots can be trained to carry out useful tasks by orchestrating interactions among numerous individuals is being advanced by the simple-to-use robotic system known as Kilobot. These swarms are modeled after social insects, such as ant colonies, which are able to efficiently search for and locate food supplies in large, complex habitats, transport heavy things as a group, and plan the construction of nests and bridges in such surroundings. Kilobots are inexpensive and only 33 millimeters in diameter, yet despite their low price, they are capable of interacting with neighbors up to 7 centimeters away, detecting distances between neighbors, and sensing ambient light. They are built such that no robot needs any special care from a human operator. This makes utilizing the Kilobot controller easily control a collection of Kilobots, whether there are 10 or 1,000 in total. Number 1. Robot Crab Researchers at Northwestern University have developed a tiny, crawling robot crab that is capable of bending, twisting, walking, turning, and jumping. They assert that their crab-shaped robot, which is only half a millimeter wide, is the tiniest remote-controlled walking robot ever created. Its creators from Northwestern University in the United States claim it offers a view into the future of robotics when small devices may be utilized to carry out tasks in confined locations, such as the human body. The robot is so small because it is composed of a metal alloy known as shape memory alloy, rather than having complicated hardware, hydraulics, or electrical connections. This microfunction robot is to assist surgeons in performing minimally invasive surgeries to unclog arteries, stop internal bleeding, or remove cancerous tumors. It can also be used to repair or build small industrial structures or machinery. And that's it for this video. Aren't these robots amazing at what they can do, or probably do in the future? Leave your thoughts in the comment section. 
If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Your support helps us create more great content, so we appreciate it.